My name is uh, Gona Said, and um, I live in London. I work for an organization called Women and Girls Network, but I'm also a women's rights activist and um, trying to represent the issues of women from Iraq, um, especially since uh, the conflict and uh, the so-called liberation of Iraq since 2003. Um, and um, I'm here uh, today to participate in a conference um, regarding women's issues around the world uh, to celebrate 8th of March, International Women's Day. Uh, basically, um, what I wanted to um, represent about uh, the situation of women in Iraq is um, that women has, um, at some point, uh, years and years ago, enjoyed uh, some kind of rights in Iraq, and um, not equal rights, of, of course, but some sort of uh, freedoms and education and employment. Um, within the occupation since 2003, uh, women's right has been pushed back uh, years and years. Um, women has been subjected to violence on the street in the hand of gangs and um, Islamist groups and fundamental Islamic groups. Um, they've been pushed back to go back home, um, like lecturers, university lecturers, um, teachers, um, wo women workers has been killed and attacked on the street for not wearing headscarves, for not um, being um, ab abandoned by the Islamic laws and rules. Um, uh, issues like um, honor killing, forced marriages, uh, female genital mutilation, trafficking women, uh, rape and uh, kidnapping women, all these issues are violence that women are subjected to on a daily basis in Iraq. <laughs> وأيضا دورات مع منظمات NDI أمم متحدة أمينستي تعرضت للتهديد أيضا لأنه أشتغل منظمات مجتمع مدني صارت فترتها انتخابات لمنظمات المجتمع المدني وانتخبوني وأنا أعتبر يعني من الشخصيات اللي محسوبة على الحركات الديمقراطية واليسارية وأيضا بعد تفجير البيت هم أنا استمرت التهديدات بس أنا بقيت بالبيت أنا وعائلتي كل إحنا بقينا بالبيت. Uh, but I also wanted to say that um, women do have resistance. Uh, women have, um, there are women who are organized in an um, organization. For example, we have Organization of Women's Freedom in Iraq. We have other women's organization, but we also have a um, socialist movement. We have the Workers' Communist Party of Iraq, the Workers' Communist Party of Kurdistan. All these are part of a progressive movement that I would call the socialist and, and progressive movement in Iraq. We all are striving for um, an equal society, uh, for ending the occupation, um, um, equal rights for women and, uh, and men, and also for um, establishing a worker state in Iraq. Uh, we know that we have a long way and a long fight uh, as socialists and as uh, strivers for women's rights, but we also know that with the solidarity and assistance that we could get from the left and the socialists and the uh, communist movement within Europe and the West, we could do um, and we could uh, basically um, save the Iraqi society and Iraqi women from their suffering today. I think it's very, very important to hear the real voices of women in Iraq and that's what I'm trying to do basically because I know there are different messages basically the Western media the media that is controlled by the US and the British governments who um, are causes of the occupation basically are the occupiers in Iraq does tell different stories about women in Iraq they do try to say that they have liberated the society and the women and I think that's not true what they did is they put the whole society and the and Iraq into a big conflict that would be very, very difficult for women to have not equal rights only, but to, to survive uh, on daily basis. There are attacks on their rights every day and they've been pushed back home. 
So I'm trying to give the real message that what's happened with women for Iran is has taken the society years, centuries basically backwards. And um, yes, it is very important that women like myself, like my other friends and colleagues, to come out and give this voice, this real voice to women in Iran. Some of the women in the last Iraqi parliament were chosen to run simply to fill out party allocations, not because they were competent. This time, though, the quality of the candidates has improved hugely. They come from across Iraq's social spectrum, and most share a commitment to the women who remain among the poorest members of this society. Um, I don't feel a different person because in Iraq, part of me and what I was doing basically was striving for women's rights every day. Um, but I think the opportunities to do that are greater and better um, coming out of Iraq and also um, the personal freedom that I could speak and talk wherever I want um, and hear the and try to represent women's voices are very good opportunities that I gained from coming out.